Hello and welcome to another episode of Cool Stuff with Kyle. Today I'm going to show you some various autographs that I have that are from all actors that were in Star Wars series, um, movies or animated features, maybe both. Uh, a lot of these actors are known from other things as well, but uh, these are all in particular Star Wars related autographs. So this is my case here where most of my autographed cards are, um, and it's um, got UV protective glass so that these autographs won't uh, hopefully fade too much over time. I'm going to go ahead and open it up though so we can get a better look. So I'll go over some highlights here. This one is Brent Spiner. Of course, he's well known outside of Star Wars for being Lieutenant Commander Data in um, Star Trek The Next Generation. This one is Giancarlo Esposito. He was Moff Gideon in the Mandalorian series and of course well known for playing uh, Gus Fring in Breaking Bad. Jet Lucas there, um, he was in uh, one of the Star Wars prequel movies as a Jedi. You can see him pictured in character there, but he's actually George Lucas's son. Tim Rose was uh, one of the actors uh, with Admiral Akbar. I don't remember if he was uh, if he was like the voice or if he was um, like a puppeteer or something. I don't remember. Um, let's see. Misty Rosas, you might remember seeing her as the Frog Lady in The Mandalorian. Forrest Whitaker, of course, he's a very famous actor. Saw Guerrera in Star Wars. That one's Tom Kenny. He's the voice of SpongeBob SquarePants, of course, outside of Star Wars. And he does a lot of other really um, good voice acting in all kinds of series. Cool guy. Laura Dern. Very famous actress, of course. And she was Admiral Holdo in Star Wars. Jan the guy that played Jango Fett. Also, he's the same guy. Uh, Tamara Morrison, I believe his name is. Uh, he, um, uh, he played Boba Fett in the new Boba Fett, um, Book of Boba Fett series, and in The Mandalorian. Wicket was played by Warwick Davis, who, of course, he, um, in addition to being in Star Wars, he was Willow in the movie and in the new show on Disney+. Plus. Clive Revel as Emperor Palpatine, uh, you know, some of you may have never even seen the original appearance of Palpatine, uh, but the original appearance was actually, um, you know, it was just through this holographic image, and the voice was done by Clive Revel. Um, but that's, in the new special editions and stuff, uh, that's been replaced, and I think it's Ian McDermott um, in the new ones, but this was the original. First appearance of uh, Emperor Palpatine in the movies there. Andy Serkis, Supreme Leader Snoke, of course he's a really famous actor as well. He was uh, Gollum in The Lord of the Rings and you know he's been in, in different Marvel properties and things. He, he's done a lot. Another really famous actor, Donnie Yen. He's been in a lot of martial arts movies and things like that. Chirrut Imwe in Rogue One. Billy Lord. She's been in, I know, a lot of the um, uh, what's it called? The horror series, uh, American Horror Story. And she is the daughter of Carrie Fisher. And then we have Matthew Wood. Uh, he's done a lot of cool voice acting and stuff too. But he was General Grievous. Caroline Blackiston, the original Mon Mothma in Star Wars. Mon uh, Mothma, I think I might have said that wrong. And then Erin Kellyman, she's become quite a famous actress as well. She's in the new Willow series uh, with Warwick Davis also. She's been in uh, different uh, Marvel movies and things. And of course she was in this nest in uh, Solo. And I actually have a few more autographs to show you as well. So here we have Dave Prouse. 
He was actually the man who portrayed Darth Vader in the suit, and his voice was dubbed over, of course, by James Earl Jones. And in some of the stunts, uh, he was played by uh, an- another actor that did the uh, the stunts, like with the the fencing things like that. But uh, Dave Prowse was the guy that you usually saw in the original Star Wars movies, uh, portraying Darth Vader in the suit. And then we have, of course, the famous voice, James Earl Jones, signed this one. That's from one of his movies. can't remember at the moment the name of this movie, but uh, I've looked it up in, in, the, in the past. And then we have John Boyega. Of course, he was Finn in the uh, new Star Wars trilogy movies. And this one pretty much has to be the crown jewel of my collection right now. This is a, a custom card they made um, with an older autograph from Mark Hamill on this Force Awakens card here. And uh, it says, Best Always, Mark Hamill. Very cool. I hope you enjoyed seeing all these autographed cards and photos. And uh, until next time, remember, the world is full of cool stuff. Go out and find some.